Hello everyone, back tuning in to today's first video, doing the ECDF 30 day look at today's first video, looking, te looking at temperature and rainfall anomalies uh, across Northern Europe for the next four weeks. I'll tell you, it's pretty much the end of September, it's a September look at, and uh, I'll get on that for you very shortly. Coming up later on today, you'll have a regular 10 to 14 day video day, including all of the usual features. And uh, of course, we didn't do a video yesterday, uh, an upload, uh, so, uh, or a 10 to 14 day video up upload, I should say. So it was back on everybody, so did historic video so i'll bring you up to, to update everything that's happened over the past uh day or so in terms of web models and all of that kind of stuff for the next uh, 10 to 14 days i'll be coming up later on this afternoon tonight we've got terry scrolly's september and autumn forecast for you so that's gonna be very interesting that will be at the website i'll be at gauswebbins.com and you'll be able to have a read of what terry is forecasting for not only september but for the autumn as well i've already got the forecast it's quite an interesting read actually uh, eyes playing up uh, a little bit today, so uh, I'll uh, I'll persevere though, and we'll get through this together. Big thank you to uh, Copernicus.eu uh, for supplying the charts. So uh, yeah, let's get on with it. Then I'm going to start off with the week one temperature anomaly, taking us from the 31st of of August to the 6th of September. And for this first week of September, or the first days of September, we still see kind of like the northwest south be split, but it's dominated the second half of Europe, actually, with the temperature anomaly. So for many uh, central, western and northern parts of Europe, it's cooler than average. In the east and the southeast of Europe, it's warm than average and particularly hot, uh, both to the south and to the north of the Black Sea. So let's look at this in a little bit more detail then. So for the UK, yes, particularly England and Wales, a bit cooler than average, some parts of Scandinavia. A little bit cooler than average. Uh, we've also got sort of Poland, Germany, back into the low countries, some parts of France, even going down into eastern parts of Spain and Portugal, coming out with below average temperature. Not desperately cold, but it's around half a degree to one degree below average something. Uh, like that. However, on the eastern side of Europe, it is much, much warmer over on the eastern and southeast side of Europe. So generally, it's a bit warmer than average across the east of Europe, but particularly in the southeast corner, like both to the north and to the south of the Black Sea. So we're talking about like Ukraine, uh, southwest of Russia, I mean, going down into uh, like, like Greece, uh, Turkey, those areas coming out very substantially hotter than average. And in some places, we've got these deep red colours, uh, which is probably taking us around eight degrees above that. So really hot, proper heat wave in that uh, extreme southeastern part of Europe. But generally, actually, most sort of central, northern, western parts of Europe are a little bit cooler than average in the week ahead. Through the Mediterranean, uh, so the central bowl of the Med is a bit cooler than average. We've got uh, western parts of Spain and Portugal warmer than average. And then southeastern Europe, like Greece, and Turkey uh, coming out, or southeastern parts of the Med, uh, like Greece and Turkey, coming out uh, hotter than average through there. Precipitation-wise, uh, we look like this. Generally quite a dry scene in the west and the northwest of Europe. So drier than average for these opening days of September through much of Scandinavia into west of Germany, down into France, northern, eastern parts of Spain, and also into uh, much of the UK, coming out a little bit cooler than average through there. The uh, southeast of Europe, uh, coming out a little bit drier than average, I should say, through there. Southeastern parts of Europe, again, also looking rather dry. So we've got that heat wave going on in the extreme east the southeast of Europe, it is quite significantly drier than average there as well. In between, though, we have a swathe of wetter weather. So we've got this swathe of wetter weather, like through the central part of the Mediterranean, through Italy, uh, going to northern parts of the Balkans, probably up towards like Hungary, Austria, and then the swathe of rain continues in towards the west of Russia uh, as well. It's a very narrow band, quite unusual to see this very narrow band, like from the Med to Russia. Uh, and I on either side, it looks like we're dominated by high pressure. So quite quite strange, actually, that. Uh, but but that's what it's showing. Uh, anyway, I mean, in the far north, it's also quite wet around Iceland. So low pressure with jet stream uh, through here. But actually, many parts of Europe look, look like they're dominated by high pressure in the coming week. We go through to week two, which is the 7th through to 13th of September, and it's generally warming up across most parts of Europe, away from Ireland and from the UK. So we do have Ireland and the UK and the extreme north of France, cooler than average. Also, like the southwest of uh, Norway, a little bit cooler than average through there. Otherwise, though, it's a warm to very warm or even quite hot scene across most parts of uh, Europe in this uh, week, week two, 7th to 13th of September, looking particularly warm again. 
again in the east of the southeast of Europe. So coming down through the Mediterranean, all areas through the Med look hotter than average, but it's particularly hot over on the southeastern side of the Mediterranean. So again, from Greece, Turkey, Cyprus, those sort of areas coming out hot and average. Our heat extends in towards the Balkans as well, over to the Black Sea. Also, the heat is really on in that southeastern corner of uh, Europe. But in the far northwest, it is a little bit cooler through there. Otherwise, most places are a little bit warmer than average. Lots more are settling in the northwest as well uh, in this week. So, rainfall anomalies are creeping up, uh, particularly across Norway and then going down into the UK and Ireland and then further southwards into France and northern parts of Spain. Above average rainfall coming here with low pressure uh, and the jet stream. Uh, coming in from off the Atlantic. Over on the eastern side of Europe, again, it's rather drier than average through many uh, eastern parts of Europe, average to slightly drier than average, particularly dry, and particularly dry down in the southeastern part of the Mediterranean uh, once again. So the ridge bringing the hot weather for the east and southeast part of bed. Uh, continue. Some thunderstorms look like they're probably kicking off over the Alpine regions of southern and eastern France and also northern parts of Italy. Uh, but generally the Mediterranean has sort of average precipitation in the western part of the Med, driving average in the eastern part of the Med. Uh, week 3 temperature anomaly from the 14th to 20th of September going widely cooler than average. This is now showing up to be a cooler than average September for western parts of Europe if this is right. Going widely cooler than average across the west of Europe. Anywhere from like eastern Germany, western Poland, westwards. Uh, is cooler than average, and particularly so for like France, for much of Spain, for Ireland, for the UK as well. It is cooler than average through here. The warmth is across northern Europe, so for much of Scandinavia, Baltic regions in the northeast, and then going down this eastern side of Europe again, looking pretty hot on the eastern side of Europe. Maybe not quite as intensely hot through southeastern parts of the Med as it is in weeks one and two, but nevertheless, very much warmer than average in the north. And in the east of Europe, western Europe looking cooler than average. And the divide looks like it's kind of like Poland, really. Anywhere east of Poland, it's hotter than average. Anywhere west of Poland is cooler than average. So, yes, this could be shown to be quite a cool September for Ireland and for the UK in particular. Precipitation anomalies looking a little bit unsettled again in the north. So it does look as though we've got more influence from low pressure the jet stream now with the ECM for September. Remember a couple of weeks ago it gave quite a dry September uh, across most parts of northern and western Europe. But now it does look as though we've got more influence from the jet stream with above average rainfall from off the Atlantic in towards Ireland, UK, Denmark, Norway, southern Sweden, maybe northern Germany. Those sort of areas look like they are a little bit wet and average. It also looks rather wet and average uh, just here. This won't got the divide, of course. This is like Poland in towards Ukraine. We've got this divide uh, just here. So I would assume there's big thunderstorms kicking off there between like, like the hotter air to the east and the cooler air that's coming in from the west. Uh, down into the Mediterranean, again, not a particularly wet signal, but just maybe starting to look a little bit more showery through the central bowl of the Med, but otherwise near normal rainfall through most parts of the Med. Still not much sign of the first sort of autumnal rains for the Med at this stage. And then we go through to uh, week four, which is the 21st to the 27th of September with the temperature anomaly. Gradually, these warmer than average anomalies, these hotter than average anomalies are receding eastwards. They're receding eastwards and sort of fading away. So the cooler air from off the Atlantic is pushing further and further eastwards into uh, Europe all the time. But it is still warmer than average across much of northern eastern Scandinavia, also around the Baltic Sea, into those northeastern parts of uh, Europe, like Latvia, for example. Estonia, uh, warmer than average through there. And then down this extreme eastern side of Europe, it is warmer than average too, but now those hot and average temperature numbers are sort of pushed right the way towards Black Sea. Uh, and still lingering on around Greece and Turkey probably, but overall it is cooling down uh, as we go into the second half of September. Still looking pretty cool on this western side of Europe as well. So Ireland, UK still struggling to get the temperature up there. Uh, much of, uh, much of uh, western France also looking rather cool as well. And in these, in these central areas like Germany, Poland, hints at being a little bit cool now for there 
as well, I think. Uh, Rainfall anomalies finally look like they're still quite unsettled in the northwest. It's a cool, wet September now for northern, or what, particularly northwestern parts of Europe. Cool, wet September. So it's a little bit wet than average for Ireland. It's a little bit wet than average for the UK. It's significantly wet than average for southwestern parts of Norway and also into uh, Spain uh, and also into uh, Sweden uh, as well. Going further southwards, though, through France, Spain and Portugal, it's driving an average shoe bear. So a little bit more influence from higher pressure, perhaps, from the Azores in, in the southwest of Europe. But lower pressure looks like it's still coming through uh, just here. Over on the eastern side of the Europe, further soils probably breaking out in the southeast part of Europe in general, a little bit more in the south of the Central Pole of the Mediterranean as well. So uh, further storms there look quite likely to be breaking out. Probably the first or tumbler areas of road pressure begin to get going in the central part of the Eastern, northeastern parts of Europe, possibly a little bit warm, especially back towards western parts of Russia. So this is showing up to be quite a cool and unsettled September now for northwestern Europe. So uh, for Ireland, for the UK, for parts of France, for Germany, low countries, Belgium, Holland, Netherlands, could be a rather coolish and quite unsettled month, uh, to be honest. The heat looks like it's over on the eastern side of Europe for this September. So much of eastern Europe looks like having quite a hot month, especially the first half of the month, then cooling down later on. Quite an interesting September ahead, Ben, and there'll be a lot to keep an eye on if the ECMWF is right. Of course, that's the caveat, because it's only a snapshot what Molly is showing this week. And it has moved quite a lot while it's forecasting like a couple of weeks ago. It's definitely going more unsettled and cooler now for September in the northwest of Europe when it was like a couple of weeks ago. So so that's as ever is the caveat. It's just a snapshot what Mod has shown and any forecast beyond sort of five to seven days is fraught with danger and has big health warnings applied. Okay, so that's that one done. We're going to be out later on in 10 to 14 day be update. We've got Terry Scully's September and autumn forecast combined coming up at GavsWeathers.com from around 7 o'clock tonight. For this video, that's all for now and thank you so much for watching.